you were a good woman to him. You poured into him. You tried to give him what he asked for. You tried to be the best you could be. You gave so much time and energy, but in the end, it all fell apart. The relationship didn't work out. And sometimes you may have questioned and wondered, did this man even regret losing me? Did he understand the good thing he had in his hand? Well, I'm going to explain to you if men regret losing a good woman. My name is Stefan Labossier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks, back with another dating and relationship advice video for women. Again, we're going to be talking about do men regret losing a good woman? Be sure to like this video, share it, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification button. So, it's a question that gets asked a lot. Um, and a, a, a lot of women wonder if men feel any regret, remorse, uh, have any kind of negative emotion that they experience from the fact that they lost out on what they felt was a good woman. Now, you know me. I'm going to have to be real with y'all. There's some things that I'm going to say today that you're not going to like, all right? But I want to keep it real with you all the way through. So number one, let's get to the initial question. Do men regret losing a good woman? In most cases, yes, all right? In most cases, there's going to come a point where that man realizes, damn, I had a good one and I let her slot out of my hands. You, you see examples of this all the time where women have broken up with men and it could be months later, years later, this dude pops back up and he wants her back. Telling her, I realized what I had lost. I always say some people don't realize what they had until it's gone, but that doesn't mean they're supposed to get it back. But he'll try. He'll try. And, and sometimes the intentions are genuine. Sometimes they're not. Either way, yes, because the reality is that having a truly a good woman, all right, is not easy to find. Um, even though society or people would like to believe there's all these great women everywhere, that's not what every man's actually experiencing. And a lot of men have uh, been played by women, have been hurt by women. And so when they had that woman that was good to them and now she's no longer available, all right, it can be hurtful. It can be a regret. And it depends on why he lost you to begin with. Now, if... if he lost this good woman because he knows he messed up, whether it be maybe he wasn't ready for that level of commitment. Uh, maybe he did not know how to pour into you the way that you need to. Maybe he, he wanted to play the field. There's a lot of men where they're, they're at the time in their life where they want to see what their options are, where they want to run these streets, so to speak, all right? And they don't want to be, or they're afraid to be tied down to one woman. And their, their unwillingness to embrace you at that moment is just about where their head is at. And so now when they come out of that phase and they look back, yeah, there's a lot of regret because now they find themselves in a space where they're unable to find the same energy that you brought to the table. They're unable to find the effort you brought to the table where they saw in some situations these women may have looked better, and I'm saying in various ways, on the surface, whether it be physically, their resume, certain uh, resources they may have brought to the table, but how it felt being with them was a drop-off. And now they start to see the difference. That's why some people don't realize what they had until it's gone because it takes them having experiences with less than, with people who don't match your quality, for them to really understand the level of quality you brought to the table, all right? But now I have to say this, the last thing I want you to be worried about is if that man regrets losing you. Because it does nothing for you. It's not going to make your life any better. You might feel a little bit better for a second, feel like, okay, he, he finally gets it, but what's that really accomplish? And if you're focusing your energy on thinking about if he regrets losing you, then you're not giving your energy to more important things, to your growth, to, to your uh, possible new relationship that could be coming your way. You be, can become so consumed by how does he still feel where now you find yourself looking at his social media. You feel yourself checking on things you don't need to be checking on because you're just trying to see what's going on with him. Does he show any remorse? Has he moved on too quickly? How is he feeling? Don't do all that. Don't drive yourself crazy because again, even if he regrets it, here's the bigger question. Was he even the man for you? Like who cares 
if he regrets it, if he was never the man for you. If anything, thank God that he's gone. Thank God it didn't work out. Thank God that for whatever reason, you two fell apart because some of you were in relationships where you weren't going to pull the trigger. You weren't going to walk away. Even though your intuition has been telling you that man was wrong for you, you were still trying to make it work. And so if it fell apart, great. Here is now your opportunity to get yourself into proper alignment. Here is your chance to get closer to God and find out what does he want you to be doing in your life. This is where you should be focusing your energy, not on this man who was probably never for you. But I got something else to mention. And again, I tell y'all, I love y'all when I say these things that might hurt y'all. But sometimes you guys swear y'all were a good woman and you weren't that damn good. Now listen, I don't say this to offend you. I say this because some of you need the kind of reality check that will help you to see better results in the future. And I'm saying this because if you convince yourself that you were such a great woman in that relationship and you did nothing wrong, when in reality, you may have been dysfunctional, when in reality, you were lacking healing, when in reality, you were pouring in negativity just as much as him, then what will happen is you will blind yourself from the things you need to work on so that you can succeed in the next relationship. You will take these issues and flaws and you will bring this extra baggage, the disappointment and hurt that came from this uh, situation where you poured so much into, and now you will place it at the feet of the next man. And then he will fall short, and he will fall short because he's been set up for disaster. Forget being set up for disaster. He will fall short because you will probably choose the wrong man from the jump because in your broken state, and again, I say that in a loving manner, but in an accurate, truthful way, in your broken state, you will not be able to choose and embrace the man who is best for you. You will choose and embrace a man who feels safe emotionally. You will choose and embrace a man that does not make you feel vulnerable, that you may feel like you have more emotional control with. But he is not the right man. So he is bound to fail. And you are bound to repeat the cycle over and over and over again. And there are some people who unfortunately go to their grave never having looked themselves in the mirror and said, damn, what could I have done better? Where can I improve? Where can I truly become the good woman that I am capable of being? Because I do believe with all my heart, you are capable of being that amazing woman. And let me not discount the fact that in some situations, you were. In some situations, your perception that he lost a good, great woman is completely accurate. But in many, in many cases, you were missing the mark in certain ways. And I bring that to your attention because I want you to achieve better. And you cannot achieve better if you're not willing to work on your flaws. If you have not healed from that past relationship, if you have not healed from your childhood, if you have not healed from anything you've been hurt from, now is the time to do that. Even if you think you were a good woman, well, let's be a better woman. Let's get to a greater level. Let's tap into a higher potential because the woman that God made you to be, the woman that you are capable of being, is more amazing than you can even see right now. But you got to be willing. You got to be willing to accept you are human. And chances are, even if you tried your best, there may be things you could do better. We all have room for growth. I don't want you to beat yourself up. I don't, I don't want you to dwell in any kind of negativity. I want you to receive this in a way where you feel inspired, where you feel like, okay, damn, you know what? If there is another level of greatness in me, then that means there's another level of great results to receive. There's another level of blessings I can now uh, walk into if I'm willing to become a, my better self, all right? So understand the importance of that. Now listen, let's get back to... Because I know that's a lot for some of y'all, and that might have hit some of y'all in the gut. All right? But let's get back to do men regret losing a good woman. Yes. All right? But again, it's various reasons. Some of them are losing the fact that they lost all the benefits of you, but are they really truly ready to pour into you? And I want to bring that up because I want you guys to understand that in many cases, he, he does come back. And when he comes back, 
I don't want you falling for his, for his, for his uh, attempts due to him claiming, I now realize what I had. Bravo, good for you, buddy, but that's not good enough. It's not just him realizing he had something good. It's are you now prepared to pour into that woman the way that she needs? Is he willing to be the man that you're going to need to be happy because he may just be coming back to collect all the things that you're willing to give and still give you nothing in return? He may be coming back trying to give you 50% demanding your 100%. We're not doing that. We don't go for that over here. You need to make sure that if you were even going to entertain this man, that you uh, ensure that he is willing to step up to the plate in the way that he needs to, all right? And always, and always pray about it. And I say that because there's some of you right now who are saying, well, if he came back, ain't no way in hell I'm taking him back. Well, listen, I understand. I'm not, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to blame you for that way of thinking. However, sometimes it's actually the wrong way to go. Because remember what I said in the beginning, it depends on why he lost you. And some situations are right person, wrong time. And I know some of y'all scoffing at that right now. Like, oh, please, I don't believe that. If they weren't, if it didn't work at that time, that means they're the wrong person. That's not true. That's not true. Sometimes there was real love there. Sometimes there was a genuine connection there. But he wasn't ready. He wasn't mature. He hadn't evolved yet. And whether you realize it or not, you weren't fully ready. You have fully evolved. Not to a place where you two could successfully come together and have an amazing relationship. So if now the opportunity comes back around, the last thing I want you to do is reject it out of pride. The last thing I want you to do is reject it out of the, the, the general premise of don't take your ex back. That's simply not always the case. Sometimes that needs to be revisited. Sometimes there is something there. But just don't take my word for it. And just don't go off of your emotion in the moment because, yes, he may catch you at a vulnerable time that makes you think I can, you can make this work. But this is why we go back to praying about it. This is why we make sure that in the meantime, you heal. Because in your healing, you'll be able to see more clearly, is this something real that can be revisited or does the door need to be shut completely? You will also be able to hear your spirit more clearly. You'll be able to embrace your intuition much better than you were before because you're clearing away all the negative energy. You're clearing away all the outside noise. You're making it about you, your spirit, and God. And when you do that, that will allow you to walk the path you need to walk. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. A lot of women have experienced a good man. I repeat, a lot of women have experienced a good man. Now, don't go shaking your head. Don't go throwing your hands in the air. Don't switch to another video.